So this looks like a pretty good possibility, yeah. Making pictures is something that I think is actually genetic. My first memory of making pictures was, I was five years old up at my um, grandmother's for the summer. It was a rainy day and I was sitting at the kitchen table with a piece of paper and a pencil and I was trying to draw the tree outside in the front yard. Then in high school I started noticing photographs in the uh, Providence Journal. Uh, and during that time, it was about 1955-56, they used to have a, a full page of pictures on the uh, back page of the front section every day and I started looking forward to that. When I worked at the Journal, we covered the yacht races, the America's Cup, and uh, uh, people fishing along the bay and so forth. I became interested in the bay as pretty much as a subject matter that rather than as an, uh, someone who was uh, interested in the environment or something like that. So much of life in Rhode Island revolves around the bay, even if you don't own a boat or you don't go to the beach. Just driving any place, uh, practically, you're, you're going to see water that's related to the bay. Even if you live in one socket, that water finds its way into the bay. It's, it's part of the whole ecosystem. My son used to work down at Newark. I got an email from one of his friends one day that uh, coming to work every day, he saw this beautiful sea smoke on the, on the bay and I thought maybe I might be interested. Well, I, the very next morning I got up and went down to Jamestown and I found a spot where I had actually photographed before where I could see the, the Newport Bridge. I was north of the bridge and the sun was coming up on the south of the bridge. The light was just beautiful. I mean, that was, it was like four degrees below zero. <laughs> when I came back through Providence, I saw the temperature. But uh, that was, that's one of my favorite pictures that was really weather dependent. And uh, I got a beautiful picture. Things worked out just the way I wanted. But uh, it doesn't always happen that way. I tell people uh, when they ask me why I'm still taking pictures at my age, I tell them I I'm going to be taking pictures until I either go blind or I die. And actually, I prefer the latter rather than having a life without being able to go out and take pictures. Thank you.